Now, John, I have an easy one for you. How do you identify a FANUC part number? Actually, it's very simple. All FANUC part numbers will start with the letter A, followed by a two-digit number and a second letter. The dash, in this case, A06B-6089, identifies the drive. H104 will indicate the version of the drive. These are servo amplifier modules. A06B-6079, H201. The 201 indicates that it is a dual axis servo amplifier. The two refers to two axis capability. If it was an H101, it would be a single axis, H301, a triple axis. This is a FANUC model Alpha 3 3000 motor. Part number A06B, 0123B575, pound sign 7008. All FANUC motors will start with A06B. The middle number indicates the motor ID type, 0123. The last numbers, B575, indicate the type of encoder that is used inside the motor. The pound sign 7000 number will indicate the type of shaft that is used on the motor. This, these can be tapered shafts, tapered shafts with keys, or straight shafts. Now you know how to identify your FANUC part number. Now John, how do I know an I.O. card is bad? I.O. cards come in a variety of different types. For instance, this is an I.O. card used to interface the operator panel to the CNC. These modules are typically used by machine tool builders as input and output modules. The input module has LEDs that will indicate if a signal is currently being applied to it. To make sure that the information is getting from this module to the PMC, you can look at the PMC diagnostics display screen. The diagnostic screen for that particular address will change from a 0 to a 1 to indicate that the PMC is seeing the change in the limit switch. Now John, I know this is a fault code. What does the 24 mean? Typically, if you have a fault code on the display, there's a problem with the drive. In this case, the 24 indicated that the control was in the process of booting up. The parameters had not been loaded into the spindle drive yet. As you see, it's now changed to an emergency stop state. This means that the parameters have been loaded from the CNC control into the spindle drive. The rest of the spindle drives Everything on here, including the servos, are all showing an emergency stop condition until we tell them to come out of the emergency stop state. Once they come out of the emergency stop state, they'll all change to zeros, except for the spindle drive. The spindle drive will continue to show emergency stop until it's been given a move command, either forward or reverse command. Any numbers other than these indicated on here will indicate that that particular device has detected an error. Now, Erwin, I have a question for you. How can I tell the difference between a DC and AC servo motor? Well, on Fanuc motors, the encoders covers will be red on AC motors, and they will be yellow or black on the DC motors.